Let's see how our son of sorrow is doing today. Not a lot of sorrow. We're not son going to be. <laughs> yeah. We're not. We're not going to be suffering too much today. No, not at not. all. No, 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 no. Son it's of happiness. Son of happiness would be today. Yes, exactly. So I'm trying to check all the chats and see if I have it here. So I'm I'm going on the YouTube, but. Okay, so I see that we are live on Twitch. Sorry, I'm just checking all the chats here. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to ask for directions here. I'm not finding um are you asking johan yeah yeah <laughs> okay so from what i see we are live only on the twitch channel and we will start the lesson in a moment but i i'm not sure that was the okay so give me just one second. I have the link here. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I will just go and take a sneak peek on the decision. Yes. Oh, so here is Black to Play. Uh, this was meant uh, for you guys to solve and for Sophie also to solve uh, before we fix uh, any tactical issue that we might have. And well, just wait for everybody to join in. So it's black to play here. How should black continue? And in the meantime, I'm going to check the YouTube. There we are. Hello, Johan. Nice to see you on YouTube. <laughs> So Sophie, if you want, I will I will pass you the YouTube link as well, because I know you like to, to che to check if people are helping you. <laughs> so you can you guys can go ahead and make comments. I will be watching, and Sophie will be watching too. She's cheating sometimes when uh, <laughs> when things get difficult. So if you want to give a hand, did you send me the link? I'm going now. We have it there. I think I received something. Gonna... Hello to Japan. Wow. Yep, yep. And I can see that there are uh, comments here. That's good. So that I can get some help needed. No, people are just saying hello. So uh, no help for you. <laughs> but black to play anyway no, in no, this position. Yet, but I'm, I actually have a pretty good idea for the first one. But, OK. Um, of course, I haven't calculated everything, but it's... Your intuition it is not failing, like no? Position, <laughs> actually, I need to turn off the... Can, can you turn off the computer? I'm sorry? I can maybe, I can do it myself just one moment. Yeah, I, I think you have to do that yourself. And... Do like this. Okay. Okay. Um, uh, so it seems like the type of position where you done. Can I've I've done it. Yeah, you've done it for me. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like the type of position where you could caption it too, um, because I mean, otherwise you would have to move the knight, and it's just um, that doesn't seem to be very concrete to just move it. But check an F two, and then maybe get the the queen into the game. Get the queen on till to h4 maybe and uh maybe sacrifice another piece on h3 <laughs> i'm not sure but taking on f2 definitely seems like a good idea like the move no 
As you can yeah. see, if you guys haven't seen our streams uh, so far, Sophie is a very tactical player and she would sacrifice all her pieces and she has a quite a good uh, calculation skills as well and she's got all the intuition going and working here so yeah i heard that uh, people were telling us that your sound was low so i fixed that yeah i'm trying to okay you no fixed no it. Okay. i fixed that it was me <laughs> okay. sorry <laughs> it was not okay. you it was me okay uh so here sophie is looking at moves like knight takes of two yes yes very much uh, very much and then she's saying something with queen h4 and then she wants to sacrifice something more on h3 what do you guys think i like maybe <laughs> like <laughs> maybe yeah <laughs> it seems like there are enough uh, ideas that taking an f2 would work somehow mm. yes of course uh, this would be really oh mihail tal played the thing mihail tal played your then, this you, game. then you yes, have to take on f2 sure. then you have to take on f2 i know <laughs> and just uh, rely on tal's intuition right yeah knight takes f2 king takes and you are right about everything queen h4 i know you didn't calculate this through but <laughs> and then bishop d4 at some point people are suggesting that's right so which is the move order what do we do after king f1 I mean, bishop, yes, I just, I just saw uh, somebody in the chat mentioned the other whole thing, bishop d4. It it threatens checkmate, so I mean, it can't be that bad. Uh, bishop d4 is maybe the most forcing move. Mm -hmm. So, and, and we bring uh, another piece into the attack, no? Yeah, we bring an, another piece into the attack, and just I'm just trying to see how white can even defend that. Uh, probably knight to d1. Yeah, that's what happened. Okay, that's but that's not a very pretty move. It's not, but it's the only move, no? It's a necessary move. Okay, you already have and the... And now we can take an h3, right? Yes. And uh, white can't take back because it would be checkmate. That's right. So, yeah. okay, people are suggesting bishop takes h3, but, you know, Tal makes it prettier, no? Why not queen h3? <laughs> um, and the point... Oh. Did he play this? Yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> but it's sneaky because then you're also threatening an h1. On h1, of course, so it's over. Yeah. Uh, pawn takes, wow. bishop takes, that's mate. And then he played actually um, bishop f3, but this is also over, right? He goes queen h2. Yeah. And f5 here just to open the position wide takes here and this is nice bring the last piece here no? uh, yeah. on a6 bishop f3 and even better now it's time to bring the last rook from a uh, from a8 uh, like a really nice lesson on how to attack bring all yeah. the pieces into the attack here you see uh, you see it all first the bishop here then the rook on e5 and rook e8 the queen is well joining from the very beginning only the knight on c7 is not really participating, but but now it is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, I think with uh, this uh, enough of this position, uh, knight takes f2 was the tactic that I wanted to show you. And I have another um, position for you guys before we move on to the main game of, of today. <gasps> This was not supposed now to I happen. It. Okay, now <laughs> this is the <laughs> position. <laughs> this is more like it. And here is black to play. How should we continue uh, with black? This is not as uh, intuitive, I think. Because it's not tactics, no? <laughs> no, it's not tactic. So I'm just trying to tactic, no. look at the position. Um, 
I think... Mm. Okay, so what you, what would you guys play on uh, here with black? Yeah. Might be time to go see in the chat. <laughs> Already cheating, Sophie? Nah. Yeah, only oh, cheating. <laughs> no, but I, mean, I have some ideas, but I'm not really, like, as soon as it, it's not tactical, I'm a bit more insecure. I mean... No, but what would you play? It's nothing. I would consider I mean, there are... playing uh, knight f6, because it threatens a pawn, but it's it's pretty simple. <laughs> it's not... I'm not sure if that's where my knight wants to be, really. Um, I could also try to put pressure on the e4 pawn, but mm -hmm. it's... Like white is defending it pretty well here, so um, I don't see how I could get enough pieces pointing on e4. Uh, maybe I could try to get my if I put my knight on c5. I do have the threat of going knight to d3, so he would have to take it, I guess, if I put the knight on c5. Mm -hmm. But then I would get the double pawns and the da whites uh can i make can i make yes, things please please go ahead like this and this pawn they would be very very strong if i if i move this d pawn to c5 yeah and um, so i don't really like putting my knight on c5 because white can just capture it someone mm. is suggesting rook f8 here in the chat rook f8 looks very natural as, rook f8 well. is natural as well it's on the same line as the queen so that does make sense but there is a uh, very strong move here there's a very what a very strong move actually you want to improve your knight and that's a very good idea but where does yeah. that knight, knight belong to uh you mentioned c5 here we cannot play knight c5 but there no. is there are other ideas <laughs> there are other ideas yes I would like to get it to. Yes, I, I already That's see the right moves. Three. I already see the right moves in the chat. You do? Okay, yes. I'll go check. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't. Please don't. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the knight would like to go to. Yes, that's right. Rohan. That's what, what's right. Johan, does Johan have Ro the right answer? No, not Johan. Rohan. <laughs> Rohan? Yes. Ah, Rohan. And Rohan. Well, I mean, the knight wants to go to e5, but then there are many other people having the right move there. Why does the knight want to go to e5? Because e5 is our main uh, square in the Benoni. Uh, yeah, okay. So, it, so that's why we want to put the rook on f8. Yeah, so but then, but if you put the rook on f8, it's really easy to defend against knight e5. Uh, we have. Do we want to play knight e5 in this position? Not right away because I think okay, g, g takes f takes e5 <laughs> is pretty strong. <laughs> okay, but but we want to put it on on e5. Uh, so maybe we can push the g pawn. Yes. To provoke either uh, f takes or f5. This is really nice, no? How to get your knight yeah. on e5 here? G5, and then when the knight on e5 is a monster, knight e5. With a very very nice position from yeah. from black, and this is another game of Shuba we saw two weeks ago. Yeah, uh, I remember. Uh, I remember that name. Yes, we saw one of his games. He's a great great specialist of the Benoni. Was he a, a, a teammate of, of yours? Mihai Shuba? No, he's a no. Um, much uh, much older, different generation. Yes, uh, uh, but okay. he's one of the I legends. This, okay, let's see. This is from nineteen eighty. Yeah, okay. This is one of he's one of the Romanian legends and not only Romanian. I think he's uh, mm -hmm. he's, he's known worldwide. Okay, so ninety five the idea, yeah. very nice, very nice move. So Sovi has been starting to look at the Benoni, and this is why today uh, and in our last session we have been seeing games in the Benoni. Yeah. And now I because want I used to... to play the Budapest Gambit and it uh, it started to not work that well for me. <laughs> yeah, so now we are looking at the Benoni and well I might start to play the Benoni myself. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks to you. <laughs> it's great. We can inspire each other. Of course. Um, and this game that I wanted to show you today, this is our main game today, the great game yeah. that I wanted to show, uh, is one of uh, the games of Bugar Gashimov. He's playing here with the black pieces. He also has some uh, 
uh, great masterpieces in the Benoni. And uh, he's playing here against uh, the grandmaster from Israel, Maxim Rothstein. Mm. So the opening went like this. I'm not going to insist too much on the first moves. Um, Sophie, this is your job here to learn the theory. <laughs> g3 bishop g7 uh, and here we have the um, the fianchetto line right castle yeah. rook e8 and uh, and here white has many moves he played bishop f4 in the game but okay there are many other um possibilities like knight d2 for example we have seen this idea in our previous game as well uh, when the knight wanted to yeah. get to c4 uh, yeah. there, there's also h3, which is also quite quite common in the Benoni. But let's see this bishop f4, because now the game gets uh, interesting. So here, bishop f4, what does it want? It's, al it's already pointing at d6. Yeah. So we might be careful. We have to be careful with ideas like knight to b5 all the time. So here, black plays a6. Sorry. He plays a6. But 94 okay. is <laughs> is actually one of the lines. That's why uh, it showed up here. Uh, I was going to show you that here there are many other moves. There's knight a6. Okay, this yeah. one. This I is often play uh, knight a6 in uh, in the in this, Yeah, this is uh, I yeah. think the main line here. Uh, and there's also 94, and this 94 yeah. leads to many complications. Uh, for example, after knight takes. And knight d2. Uh, here, can, we, can you see the? Uh, can the... we take an f4? Yes, that's yeah. uh, that's one of the ideas. I think here rook b4 is what they play first. A3, ah, okay. and then here. But this uh, this is line is a mess and really uh, really needs to be studied like in depth. There's a lot of uh, things to learn here. Bishop g7, yeah. e4, and here knight d7. I think is the move but this is a, a whole different game yeah it's a yeah it's a completely different position very very interesting position also with counterplay uh, many chances for black that bishop on g7 as usual is uh, is very strong but let's see this move a6 which makes a lot of sense also um to stop the knight landing from b5 and as we were seeing the idea of uh, b5 is what is the main thing of in the Benoni, right? We want to start advancing the pawns on the queen side. Yeah. So what does white do here? Almost automatically, they play a4. Yeah, so that makes a lot of sense. Makes a lot of sense, yeah. So here, um, okay, again, we have options. Once again, we have this knight e4. And uh, here, like you were saying, Sophie, after knight d2, again, rook f4. And this bishop b2 and uh, everything else. But uh, Gashimov played in the game the move b6, which is very a very nice idea because after a4, uh, what White might want to do is play a5 himself. So a5 with the idea of fixing the queen side, so you don't have the rupture with b5. And with b6, we are stopping that and we keep the option of going b5. Um, later on, but we'll see that this yeah. is not the only point of uh, b6. So now where it goes, rook e1. Again, probably not the only move, but makes sense to put the rook on the e-file. Um, just to remind that the main idea for white here is to push the pawn on the e-file. So they want to uh, go e4 and e5 in the right, uh, in right conditions. So of course, rook e1 makes a lot of sense to support this idea. So now, it's time for us to think about how we have how we should get our pieces out. So this is a question for you, for you, Sophie, and for everybody else watching here. How could we continue with black? I'm. Uh, I, I think. The bishop would be would have a somewhat good place in b7. Um, of course, if white plays e4, it does risk like just pointing into the two pawns and on d5 and e4. Hmm. But it 
it is doing something on, on B7, and now there is like a place for it there. Um, I'm not really sure about the knight on B8. Yeah, where that's supposed to go because of course like a6 and c6 are no options so it should probably start with going to d7 and then jump somewhere from there um maybe it could go to this it's not ready to go to e5 yet but maybe it could take the other knight's place like if we could move the knight on f6 where? maybe to h5 Mm -hmm. uh, see if we can exchange uh, this knight on f6 for the bishop on f4, then the other knight could jump to f6. That's, a, a, that's a great idea, no? just to yeah. get the knight out. Uh, so if he wants to force this bishop out of f4, and then, and then play knight to d7, which is not possible right now because the pawn on d6 would be hanging. Yeah. So this is one of our problems here. We need to solve the idea of uh, the problem of the knight on b8. There are some other uh, suggestions here in the chat. Yeah, one of them, on, uh, bishop f5. Bishop f5 was one of them. Um, I don't know. Let's. Uh, it's probably possible. I'm thinking that I'm in the way of the pawn on e2. So how about knight h4 myself, and then maybe e4. I'm going to show it on the boards for everybody to see. So, bishop f5. Let me know, Sophie, if you see it, because sometimes... I, can, I can't see, yeah, bishop okay. f5. <laughs> so here I have two options. No, if I want to play e4, one of them is knight h4. But there's also this knight d2 that we always play uh, with white. And then e4. I'm not really convinced about the bishop on f5. Since e4 is my idea, and then... Uh, and then that bishop. So here, knight e4. I Luka, think... can you, uh, because I can't see the position on, on my board with the bishop on f5. I'm going to play it again. I know that sometimes the, the lines, yeah, it's just the lines I that I add. Sometimes the lines that I add, uh, for some reason, are not immediately shown to you. But... No. So bishop f5, no, knight d2, I'm thinking here. Yeah, I think knight e2 with the idea of e4 uh, must be must be strong here. So knight e4 now, like when instead of bishop f5, yes, knight e4 now is a possibility. Yeah, uh, instead of bishop f5. Uh, and then there was this suggestion of rook a7 that I liked, and rook a7 is one of the ideas of mm. playing b6. Yeah. <laughs> And this is also in the cards. So he played knight h5, uh, which I think is best. Uh, but let's see what happens if rook a7. The thing is that uh, after rook a7, we'll still have problems with that knight on b8. Uh, so this is another game uh, played here, e4, white went, rook e7. Knight d2, the same ideas of uh, bringing the knights to, well, the knight to c4. And here, um, we still cannot get the knight out of b8. Cannot play knight d7. He played knight g4. We have seen this idea also with uh, bringing the knight to e5, maybe. But knight c4, no? Yeah. And bishop d4, okay. We are threatening to take on f2. The bishop is really nice on, on d4 right now. But this pawn on f2 is easy to defend, rook f1. And feels like it's it's really difficult to find more ideas. So here, knight e5, suppose they take. And now bishop g5. We have to play f6 and bishop e3. Yeah. And it still feels like a very difficult position for black. Yeah, the e file is not as good as... Uh, as it should be. And now we have problems. <laughs> we have problems with the bishop on e5, right? Yeah. So the problem is that the, it's the knight on b8 uh, all the time. This game was a draw in the end, but it does feel like it's a difficult position. We will always have less space in the Benoni, but the important uh, thing is that we need to kind of keep some ideas, some ruptures. If we have ideas to play for or ruptures to execute, uh, 
we will not lose these positions most of the time. But here it's starting to feel uh, kind of difficult already. He played rook b7, but okay, f4, no? Yeah. So now he has to take on c3 and um, b5? f5. Maybe he we played. need to get the pieces out. But f5, yeah. okay. f5 he played. Maybe b5 can also be be an idea what happens if uh, if b5 maybe the a file uh, will be useful for white yeah because now mm -hmm. you, you don't have the pawn on b2 anymore and many times if you remember we take uh, with the rook on on b5 to play against this pawn on b2 uh, yeah. is what we do yeah. many times um, sure i think we can try b5 is the only kind of active idea here b5 Hold on. B5. Okay. Um, one thing I can do is take, no? I think takes here on on B5 or something like Queen D3 and the other rook to B1. Also, it seems a little bit um, when white has the two bishops, maybe it's, it's a little... It should, risky it will be a bit, yeah the thing is that you're not really opening the center uh but yeah. it's still very difficult to play this position yeah rook a8 is always there uh it's one of the ideas that i was thinking about but maybe i could uh, use the weakness of the pawn on b5 somehow like takes i think this can be an idea and maybe something like queen d3 also because rook a8 i will still have it even later on Nobody is taking that away from me. And rook b1. So, yeah. okay, this can be played, of course. You're not losing here, but it's difficult to play. Um, the other line with knight h6 feels uh, much more comfortable for black. So let's see this. Uh, knight h5, yeah. sorry. So knight h5, we attack the bishop, and we already saw that we want to get the knight out of b8 via d7. Right? So what does yeah. white do here? Bishop g5. And what are we going to do? Play f6? Or are we going to move either f6 or move the queen to c7? Yes, one of the two. But which one? one? Of <laughs> which one? Um, putting the queen in c7. Why? Because <laughs> the pawn is not very pretty on f f6 that it's blocking the bishop and we want the knight to go there basically yes um yeah. but also because we are weakening the the structure too soon no? we are weakening the square e6 if we play f6 right away yeah the bishop can move away and then we'll still have yeah, to we'll probably have to play f5 anyway right because the knight on h5 is kind of stuck the bishop on g7 is also suffering so if f5 then knight g5 and already white has extra ideas yeah so we yeah. don't really want to allow that but we can play queen c7 instead and that bishop on g5 is not uh, probably not great either and then maybe we can play h6 instead. at some point no we don't have to do it yeah. right away but the bishop on g5 is uh, can be hanging in, in yeah. many situations so white goes e4, and now we go knight e7. That's our idea. And here again, there are uh, options. The white here played rook c1, and this is a very interesting idea, the idea of putting the rook on c1, because it's kind of creating this uh, these threats on the c file. Um, we were seeing that one of the main ideas of uh, white is to play e4 and e5, right, of course. This is the main idea. But then white also keeps mm. the, the option of going b4, and this happens in in many games. So with rook c1, what he wants to do is play b4 at some point, and then when you take, c takes b4, the rook will open, and, um, and then the, we might have some discovered attacks, right? Yeah. Uh, maybe it won't work right away. Uh, probably it won't, because there's no good knight jump, but um, it's there, and we need to keep an eye on it. So you, there's a question for you, Sophie, in the chat. Sorry for the interruption. Sorry, if, you are, go if you are a club player or a beginner. Um, I am a club 
player, like <laughs> 18, 19, 100-ish. And there's also a question for you. You? If Are I'm from, from France. France? <laughs> no, I'm from Romania. <laughs> and I'm from Denmark, so no, 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 no French here. <laughs> the idea is to think like Alpha Zero. Would be great, huh? We'd be, we'd be world champions instead of Magnus. <laughs> yeah, that would be very nice. So going back to our game, Rook C1 is a very nice idea. And then uh, the threat is B4. There's also this move G4. Uh, and there's a game here. Yeah. You are thinking about this, right? Uh, I was not in this exact position, but I was just because I was thinking about putting the other knight, the knight on D7, put that on F6, but then this would be an annoying move. Um, well, actually, uh, if you have a knight on F6 already, G4 uh, needs preparing with it. Oh, of course, then it's, it's under. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good point. But, but here we, yeah. Yeah, here you play knight F6, right? Yeah, of course. H3, and now we can play. Okay. Here we oh, have we B5. Maybe? B5? Not right, B5? not right away, no? Because the rook on A8 is hanging after I take on B5. Ah, uh, yeah. We okay. have this. There is this pin here. But you yeah. can prepare it, yeah? So bishop B7, mm -hmm. maybe? Bishop B7 uh, is probably the best here. And then playing B5 because... Uh... Ah, okay, so he's... I'm taking away the tempo. Sophie wants to give the pawn from b6 and uh, take the one from e4, right? Yeah, that's, that's the that's your idea. the knight on c3. But unfortunately, I'm going to win a tempo yeah, here. True. And you're losing d6 and it's going to be really, really bad. No, but yeah. here there's... Okay, we have various ideas and we need to keep the flexibility in these positions. So b5 is one and c4 is another one. And we can go like this, and then the knight goes to c5, if they let us. Right? Knight c5, sorry, here, knight c5. And then we are controlling all these uh, yeah, squares. Yeah, that seems like um, a good plan. So we can do this. And if knight d2, then they've left the square e5, and we can play knight e5 then. And we don't have to take back with, uh, with the deep on, right? Yeah, because usually the, I remember you saying that that you always have to take back on e5 with a piece. Usually, it's kind you of a almost. guideline, but <laughs> sometimes, okay, most rule of the of thumb. time, yes, rule of thumb, we yeah. want to take with a piece on e5. But let's yeah. see rook b8 because now we have an interesting position after bishop f4, where I wanted to ask you what should we do with with black. Maybe now we can play b5 and then sacrifice an exchange, but it, I'm just gonna look a little bit more. Um, at it well, you have to see what white wants to do with bishop f4, actually. <laughs> what do they want to do? You wanna What's play the threat? e5, maybe? e5 and then what? e5 and then... Okay, so there's a, a suggestion of h5. I think h5 also works here. There, I, I need to find out what the threat is here. Yeah. So I guess white would like to play e5. Yeah. And then it's well protected. Right? No, it's not completely well protected. A e5 pawn takes. Mm -hmm. E5 knight takes. And what do we do? What? That's why I'm just going to do. see if I can make some arrows. Yes, go ahead. So if it was white to play, I'm not very good at making the arrows. arrows. <laughs> can you make that? You, you okay? You okay there? <laughs> I think you need to double click. So make sure it's uh, double click. If it's not if it's not working once, then try again. <laughs> so e5 is what you're looking at. Oh, I made now that. I can play e5, yeah. and then. Let's say I take back with the knight. Ah, okay. I was looking at DK. Okay, I'm not very good at. Okay, I'm going to take knight. with the deep on. Uh, yeah. Okay. Then. Uh, ah, yeah. So the yes, queen is that is also right. And then he can play d6. They can play d6. Yeah, that's the threat. Yeah, 
the thread and the queen and then e5 is hanging and then he, and then white can take on e5 right yeah yes the threat of white of white is e5 here so we really need to do something against that and as someone was suggesting i think h5 works because it's um it's attacking this pawn on g4 and then when we play knight h7 we have solved the problem of e5 uh but this is not the only solution here here since we we were discussing before uh you could also play knight e5 and it's i know it's not what we want but it's not so so bad here <laughs> okay i mean this is like a position where okay we have to take with the deep on because we kind of have to and yeah. play this position white after bishop e3 is uh, slightly better but his structure is also a little bit uh, weakened on the on the king side right our pawn on e5 yeah. is uh, keeping some holes there on f4 it's not what we usually want to do so i want to yeah. underline that this is not what, <laughs> what we usually want to do but sometimes we'll have to and i want you to remember that not always it's a, it's not always a tragedy to take the with the pawn on e5 so you kind of have to assess your own positions whenever you when you play that yeah that looks yeah. Ba bad idea. for black Breaking the wolf thumb sometimes yes but it's kind of necessary right linsa um because uh, if if they play e5, it's it's going to be worse here if white if white goes e5. I see there's somebody in the chat asking uh, why the Benoni means son of sorrow, and I think it has something to do with the fact that it was the first time it was played, the first many times it was played, it was pretty bad for black, but <laughs> it, it got in so much trouble that it just got the the name, I think. But hmm. then the, the black players who liked it, they kept, kept like improving, improving right? and, and so it's still playable. Maybe on maybe not on like top top twenty seven hundred level, but everything below that, I think it's uh, it's okay. <laughs> well, Kashimov is a twenty seven hundred player, so yeah, okay, <laughs> if so he plays it, <laughs> was a twenty seven hundred player, unfortunately. So. Here, 95. Oh, I wanted to show you the game because there were. This was a very nice game, actually. D takes, yeah. and here D6 is what White played, and after D6, uh, oh. this position is already bad for White. So you see, even if we take with the pawn, so Beliavsky here with the black pieces play 95. So it's uh, it's okay, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, and Bishop G5, and what do we do here with uh, Black? Sorry about all Rook the colors. E6. Yeah. Rookie six, right? Yeah. Rookie six, and we got the pawn on d6. And then it yeah. should be, well, pawn up. Very nice position also. Yeah. Here, and he took on d5. Okay. Great. Let's go back to our game then and see what happened after rook c1. We were seeing this idea. Uh, and we have all these arrows here, the idea of going b4. So, here, black goes h6, bishop d2, and what do we do here? This is a game of Maxim Rodstein versus Vugar Gashimov. Someone's asking whose game is. Can we put the knight on e5? Uh, knight e5 and um, hmm. we can. I'm wondering if f4 is not coming with uh... f4? Yeah, I'm thinking uh, about taking and then f4 with. Then f4. Yeah, maybe. You have bishop d4, but. Um, I can probably just go king h1 there. Knight e5, yeah. And here I'm thinking about taking and... Did you play knight e5? Yes, I'm sorry. I'm going to refresh this for you. Yeah, can you see? Knight e5. And there was also yeah. the idea before that you need to check 
might work now. Knight e5. You cannot take with the bishop because there's a, uh, a pawn hanging here on h6. So yeah. you'd, ha you'd have to take with the rook here on e5. And now I have f4 and b4 yeah. to choose from. Both looking that good, right? Pretty, pretty nice, yeah. Okay, you have some I'm, good... I'm sorry, I'm cheating right now. I'm just looking in the chat. I was going to say that there are some good uh, <laughs> suggestions there. Um, let's in the see. Chat. So, so there are several people saying... Uh, who the hell is Binot? Uh, probably is... uh, Benoni, right? So it's the... <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Benoni. This, this yeah. is no um... Knight e5, that was my idea. So, <laughs> queen b8, somebody is suggesting. What Evil do you think? knight is suggesting queen b8. And how do you feel about queen b8, Sophie? I'm, I don't know, I'm just gonna go back to the position. <laughs> queen b8. I don't know, it's preparing, uh, it's b5, mm -hmm. so it, it does have a purpose. Um, it's also getting out of the of the C file. It's right? also getting out of the C file. That's true, but it is also sort of like a. Uh, it feels like a non-developing move, like putting like moving, uh, like not connecting the rooks. <laughs> uh, but if if it if it's uh, if we get to play B five, then it's maybe worth it for the greater good, right? <laughs> yeah. It seems like you <laughs> <laughs> No, queen b8 is actually a really nice idea here yeah. because you need to also watch out for what white wants to do. We want to get out of the c file and make b4 uh, worthless. And we also want to play b5, and that's not the only thing we want to do. He played bishop f1. Okay, he stopped the threat of b5. What are we doing next? Now you'll have to find what was the other idea of, of queen b8. <coughs> other idea. I don't know what she's doing on b8 that she's not doing on c7. <laughs> it's covering b5. Um, she's not in the C file anymore. She's... Okay, I'm going to help you out a little bit. How can, can you I keep even... improving? You don't have any suggestions, sorry. No. Nothing for now. How can I keep improving your pieces? Yeah. How can you improve your position? Pieces that are not doing anything. How could you make so the, them? How the can bishop, you bring them to um, life? The bishop and c c eight is not doing very much. It's not. But do you so, have do you have a better square for that bishop? If you could like place it somewhere, can you find a better? Maybe I could put it on g four and exchange it for the knight on f three. Okay. And then the knight my knight could jump to e5 without getting exchanged uh but of course i can <laughs> so maybe putting the knight on either e e5 or f6 to put my bishop on g4 i think knight e5 i still have the same knight xc5 and h6 yeah. is, is is going to be hanging yeah. all the time so um, then maybe knight f6 so then maybe knight f6 and if i play just h3 in that position so you, you don't have bishop g4 okay now you're getting some good ideas in the chat <laughs> okay just gonna take a look <laughs> so can we play uh in springer branden I got the name. <laughs> so it's just uh, Please. Danish. <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> I saw someone speaking uh, in well, Danish to you, but Queen A seven. I'm not sure. Like no, that. Queen A seven doesn't uh, look like it. Though. Knight F eight. Maybe. Maybe uh, not to uh, make some space. King H 
seven. I don't think that's necessary yet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, probably the idea is to play knight e5. Uh, I don't remember who's suggesting king h7, but I think the idea is to go knight e5. But uh, there's ah, okay. there's better here. Um, b5, people are suggesting. B5 is well defended right now. Yes, I yeah, have the bishop on the f1. Bishop and... I have all mm. these pieces mm -hmm. protecting b5. <laughs> the chat doesn't care. They just like sack the pawn. <laughs> well, we shouldn't hurry into that. No, you can. Well, first of all, improve the pieces, and what you are looking for is fine. And someone suggested there. Uh, F five. suggests. That's fresh. Uh, F five. Yeah, F five yeah. is one of the ideas uh, many times, but does it really work here? Not sure if you are uh, very well prepared for that yet. No, I'm not sure. A few people suggested putting the knight on f8. Yeah, that's. Uh, that I think that you can then start with knight f8. It to h7. Um, no, the idea of knight f8 is to clear the seventh rank, uh, and that was the same yeah, idea okay. of rook c, uh, queen c queen b8. And someone suggested there uh, rook a7 and uh, bringing oh. the rook to e7. And you've guys all forgotten about this idea from from the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> we have want, we have been wanting to play rook a seven and rook e seven for this whole yeah. time, right? <laughs> uh, I and didn't now... understand what you were saying when what the queen was doing on b eight uh, instead of c seven, but that's of course she's not blocking the seventh rank. Yes, so I think okay. you can start by knight f eight. Uh, nothing wrong with that. He started with rook a seven. Yeah, it's probably very very similar. Here yeah. white goes b3. The thing is that um, you can see here that we don't have much space with black, but we do have ideas. We keep finding things, rook a7. Yeah. We still have ways to improve our pieces. Now with white, it's not so easy to find any plan now. The knight is stuck on f3, cannot get to c4 anymore. The bishop on d2 kind of blocking everything. Um, there's no b4 working, right? Yeah. So here he goes b3. Uh, he's simply slow in trying to improve his position. Um, he's not really trying to do anything with this move. So we can go knight f8, clear the seventh rank. Now he goes h3. You are right about the idea of bishop g4. White is stopping it. Mm -hmm. So now rook e7. Yeah, very nice. Our pieces have all fallen into place here. Queen c2, time for the next step. What do we do here with black? Let's try to find more ideas. How can now we I keep think improving? The queen is a little bit offside. But uh, where? Unless I can play, unless I can play b5. I don't think I can play it right now. But maybe putting the bishop on d7, and then mm -hmm. I'm ready to play b5. So bishop d7 seems like a logical move. I think here already there are many, many possibilities. Yeah, Black's position starts to look really good. No, Bishop d7 is probably okay. Don't think there's anything wrong with this. Um, I'm looking at b4, but I don't think it works right now. Right? Oh, no, also somebody not. said in the chat. I'm not sure if that, but people also say that. Um, Bishop d7, then a6 is maybe hanging. a6 is also hanging, but then yeah. h, h3 will be hanging also. Maybe not something that I yeah, really, really yeah. need. No. Yeah, if they take this, I take this one. I'm not really losing a pawn, uh, but it's not necessary either. No, I can keep that pawn on there. Yeah. And then white kind of gets ideas. If, uh, if we lose the pawn on a6 with knight b5. But there's also, you know, here g4 I think is winning a pawn, right? g4 in this position. I don't know if you are seeing the moves on the board, Sophie. Uh, I don't I, no, no. I'll just go back to see. Now I am, yeah, g4. Okay. G4 oh, is, because... Is winning a pawn? I think so, because now I'm taking on a6. You'll have to move the knight and h3 is not hanging anymore. Yeah, that's true. So yeah, bishop d7, g4 makes it, uh, makes it bad. Yeah. What else? How can we keep improving? Okay, you guys were saying that that knight on f8 is looks stupid. What do we? What are we going to do about it? 
Okay, Robert, G5. What's the idea of G5? Both G5 and F5 are suggested in the chat. Uh, G5, of course, so that the knight can go to G6. Yes. That's really nice. Okay. G5 with the idea of knight G6. So G5 is the best move in this position. Make space okay. for the knight. Knight H7, not sure where I'm, where I'm going from H7, no? What am I no. going to do with the knight on H7? G5 is really... Maybe F6, but then that seems a little... Nah, bit... why do that? We need to put it from <laughs> D7 to F8, so yeah. No need to, G5. to do that. But G5 is really nice, because now my knight is going to, G, to G6, and one of uh, the things that I need to do all the time in the Benoni is make sure that E5 is well controlled. Yeah. I'm not going to put a knight on E5 necessarily, but I'm controlling. I'm making sure that white is not going to play E5 himself at any point. Yeah. So here white goes king to g2. Uh, people are saying that they don't like uh, white's moves, but I'm not <laughs> sure what he can do. <laughs> I mean, it's very difficult to find a good plan for white here. Somebody is very eager to play knight f6 right now. Um... I see that, yes. But I think that we, we should first... <laughs> Say here we should first... Uh... We, we see you're <laughs> suggesting. Are you suggesting? And um, knight g6, right? So first, let's finish this idea, and yeah, then <laughs> just continue the plan. And then we're going to move on to the next one, uh, bishop d3. And now knight f6, yes. Yeah. No, knight f6 is not a bad move, but since we started with the knight from f8, which was our worst place piece in this position, the knight on f8 was not doing anything, right? So we first brought that knight. The knight on h5 was, well, still kind of there around the king. Of course, it's not uh, very active for now because we're not going to get to f4. Uh, so that's what he does next, knight f6. So you are right, but he just played it in a different move order. First, make sure that white is not going to play e5. Because if you do this with the knight on f8, e5 is something that you need to calculate. Not sure if it works. Maybe it doesn't because our queen on b8 is doing a great job covering. Uh, but you still need to check it. Now with the knight on g6, everything is covered and we can go knight f6. And actually this knight f6 is really nice because you might want to get this knight to d7. Maybe. Yeah. Knight have d7. More pieces on, uh, e5. Maybe. This is one of the ideas you can play for. And then people are suggesting pawn to g4. Uh, there are ideas with g4 as well now that the knight is on f6. And not only g4, but I think Sophie will tell us one of the threats here. Sorry? I think you can tell us what other threat uh, what black has here besides uh, g4. Now that the knight is on f6. Now that the knight is on f6. We maybe... Can we play? No. Yes. I, I bet you no, are thinking about... Good. I bet you are thinking about something tactical, so yes. <laughs> But I'm not sure if it's the right tactical motive. Uh, no, just one. I'm just. I just have to look at it for three seconds. Okay. But it's not quite working. What are you looking at? I don't want to play. I kind of want to play b5, but ah. Okay. Still, e4 is still not hanging, so it's something else. It's something else. Something else. Uh, I'm going to give you a few more moments. The chat is already yeah. seeing it. Oh no. <laughs> I mean, that's good, but I just want to. Um, I'm just gonna. Can I, I'm, I'm gonna give myself 10 seconds and then I'll look in the chat. Hmm. Is what position do we have right now? The, the, then after the knight f6, g6 and f6, right? Yes, yes. Yeah. And we are looking for a threat for white, for black. Sorry. No, I'm just looking at taking an h3, but that yes. doesn't seem to Yes, yes, of is course. It, does it work? Well, you have it there, no? Bishop h3 and g4 is always there. Something uh, white needs to watch out for, right? 
Because we might want to open the king. Now comes the part where we get tactical. We can... Okay. It's a, it's a threat. Doesn't mean you're going to play it right away, but it's a threat that you have. <laughs> and it's like a motive. Yeah, okay. It's like a motive, yeah. <laughs> so here, what does white do? He plays rook h1. Um, again, he doesn't have a clear plan. And he's simply defending his, weak, his weaknesses, his weakest points. The pawn on h3 seems to be better defended now. Yeah. But we'll see that but uh, it's e not enough. E4 is less protected. E4 is less protected. Yes, that's true. Uh, Gashimov played queen b7 here. He's actually preparing. You said that the queen is not uh, well placed on b8. And Could he play b5 instead? Could we have played b5 here? Yep. And then you want to take on, uh, on e4. e4, is that right? Yeah. Well, let's see if it works. Uh, if I take, you take. And then when I take with my bishop, I don't know if you see b5 uh, on the board. The rook on I threaten the rook on e8. So I'm just yeah. going to make some arrows. Can you see the, the line, Sophie? No. Let me just now refresh. I b5. Might be a glitch from here. Pawn See. takes. Yeah. And here, bishop takes. I'm threatening the rook on e8. Yes. Might be too soon. Yeah. Yeah. A little too soon. So, well, here he plays queen b7. He's just um, preparing everything. Uh, the queen is better on the long diagonal. There, Usually there are tactics on this diagonal against the pawn on d5, pawn on e4. So it's an improvement um, from what we, what we were having before. White plays rook e1. Defend e4. Yeah. And now we go bishop d7. And now we might want to play b5. Yeah. <laughs> Finally. Finally. Yes. <laughs> Been uh, trying for it every other move. Bishop c1. Okay, and what do we do here? Finally. <laughs> Can we play b5 now? Yes, so we play b5 now. Yes. Finally. <laughs> we finally play b5. We are on time to go b5. Yeah. Pawn takes. Uh, yes, of course, bishop d7 could have been played earlier, but queen b7 is also a move that's part of the plan. Uh, you'll see that there are many tactics on the long diagonal, uh, not only in this game, but uh, always there. So pawn takes b5, and here white goes bishop b2. Okay, time to think again. What do we do here with black? White is toasted, almost. <laughs> black is much better, but we still need to find the way to victory. I'm, I'm looking at the queen side of the board. Um, yeah. If it was a blitz game, I would probably just play b4, but maybe I have to go for c4 instead, like playing the rook to c4, c8, uh, and then go c4. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's what I'm... Let's see if somebody... Yes, there are, there are good suggestions. Suggesting yes, uh, e8 is also being suggested. B4, push the pawn, baby. C4, yeah. C5. C4. Yeah, C4, C4 is strong. Push you know, the pawns as well. C4 is very strong, and I, we haven't seen it? we haven't seen yeah. this idea. I have just told you about it that many times that pawn is a goner. Yeah, <laughs> that is a what? Is a goner. We sacrifice that pawn many times. The pawn you on C5. A, a goner? Yes, a goner. <laughs> okay. It goes away. It's just a... gone, gone girl. Yes, like, like gone, gone, gone pawn. Gone. Yeah. Okay. Um, but many times, what we what we want to do with playing C4 is to get the knight on C5. That's obviously not the case here. We normally have a knight on D7, which takes its place. Uh, we don't do that here. But the the idea of uh, C4 is actually to uh, make white pieces uncoordinated to make them bad yeah. uh, because then everything will be ha hanging we have the queen side that's uh, open c4 very strong move here b takes b takes and here white cannot take that pawn on c4 we'll see what happened after bishop takes c4 
Bishop F1 uh, was a better choice, but we still like Black's position, right? Now we can go. Yeah, with it. it doesn't look in the rook on H1 is not very. Not very active. happy with the bishop on F1 either. Yeah. No, we don't like that. Bishop A3, let's say, and our idea is to go Queen B3. Uh, yeah. And our pawn on C4 is not a goner anymore. <laughs> <laughs> might be a queen it's a runner, <laughs> it's a runner <laughs> yes um yeah we want to take with the rook on b3 and we don't uh, care too much about the pawn on d6 we want to advance the, the pawn on c4 yeah everything will be hanging on the on the third rank after yeah. rook takes but let's see what happens after bishop c4 right that's the big question here so what happens after bishop c4 I mean, I'm, I'm guessing something with rook c8, but um, I, haven't, I haven't calculated it all the there, way. There is something better than rook c8. Uh, okay, rook c8 is a possibility. Uh, it's an... <laughs> if we can move uh, the mouse on Sophie's left eye, I'm sorry, I'm just going to move away. The knight, yes, because there's a glitch with the, with the transmission okay. and I al always have two arrows showing up. Um, not sure why that's happening. But now Sophie's full again. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm full. Can we take on e4 and then the bishop is hanging on b2? If we can take on e4, uh, okay. And your pawn on d6 is also hanging, yeah? How is that? Uh, so knight take, knight take. But I just take, I just capture all the way on e4 and then I capture on b2 in the end. So what, after knight takes, knight takes, ah, you want to play rook knight takes? Knight take, take, rook take, rook take, rook take, queen, no, then I'm down. An exchange. <laughs> then I'm down an exchange. Yeah, okay, that's not too many captures. Uh, people are suggesting, I'm just looking at Yes, chat. people are suggesting a lot of good moves. Well, there is one good move. The best move has been suggested already. Yes, people are suggesting Robert. to take an e4. That was what I was thinking about. Queen c8 is there. Yes, queen c8 is one of the ideas. Queen c8, yeah. But that seems you can actually... Uh, uh, can I put the queen on b4? You can, but what do we do then? Uh, I play bishop d3. Yeah, okay. No, there's something... Yes, uh, bishop h3 has been... Yes, but that's that's the best move here. Yeah, bishop takes wow. h3. Well, you had seen How this tactic not... already. <laughs> How is that not on your radar, Sophie? <laughs> <laughs> I just think h3 is so well protected. It looks like it, but it's not. Yeah. <laughs> okay. No, because so the tactics. Yes, of course. That's the game. Bishop takes. Good. Okay, good. And now that's we good. have various options. King g1 was played in the game, so we're going to see that last. Let's see what happens if uh, he takes with the king first, yeah? Okay, then we can play g4. Yes, then we can if, play if g4. If nothing else, then that's pretty good, okay. And let's say king g2. And we obviously we take. Check and, and, what then it's... and what do we do now? That's also a very brave move. Uh, just knight e5. Just knight e5 wins the, yeah. wins the bishop on c4. That's a very brave move, but then you don't, if you leave that pawn on f3, it's also very brave, yeah? <laughs> yeah, okay, so this is still very good. This is, uh, this is winning, knight g4 is coming. But what if he captures with the rook? rook. Yes, that's what we are going to see now. It's, the same. it's just the same, it's still g4. Mm -hmm. g4. It's just the same, and again, white yeah. cannot move the rook because of what we were seeing. Rook h1 and pawn takes f3 and that knight e5 is a killer in the end. King g1 yeah. again, and we have the same position where we could go rook c8, as your guys were suggesting before. It's much stronger now. So now bishop f1, okay, and tell me how how we continue here. How do we play this position? What's our next move? There. What? Black is winning, don't get me wrong. I think you're winning with any move, but that's, there's one move. <laughs> there's one move that makes it, uh, well, probably over. Knight uh, g4 is very strong, but there is something. Yeah, knight g4 is what I was looking at, but it, it makes a lot like of sense. It makes a lot of sense too. Concrete. Yeah. Um, we could. 
No. <laughs> I'm looking if you can take a D5. Yes. Why okay. not? Yes. Uh, white's pinned everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. If, if we take a D5, did, did, did it happen in the game? This was not the game. No. Why I didn't no, take no, on no, H3? He didn't took. Okay. Then if he takes with the knight? The queen, right? The queen the, on C2. Uh, the queen is hanging, of course, of course. Everything's hanging here. Everything's hanging, and the book is hanging, and the knight is hanging, and the bishop is hanging, everything <laughs> is hanging. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, everything is hanging. So white cannot take on d5. It's probably safe to resign here with white. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, and they, if they don't uh, move the rook here, of course, we are going to take the rook. Yeah. And here, queen c8, king g2, and give me one last strong move here. How do you c we continue our attack? We play queen g4 or bishop f4. No, knight, knight, knight f4. f4. Yeah, knight, knight f4 looks very strong. Yeah. Bishop, yeah. Queen g4 should probably work as well. But knight f4 seems more forcing. And then queen g4. Yeah. yeah. And it's uh, headed to mate. If king g1, of course, queen g4 is coming anyway. Yeah. So now let's see the game. What happened after the move King G1 here? He didn't take. So no, here, he would... yeah. Okay. No, here... uh, no, we just won the pawn back. We just but with a good position. With a, a much better pawn, maybe also no? the one on H3. Yeah. That's. And now he goes Rook C8. Now it's time yeah. to use the problems that he has on the queen side. And the thing about that bishop is that we don't need to move it, right? <laughs> we'll always have g4. Yeah, that's true. Uh, here white has an only move that kind of survives. His position is already very bad, but let's say that knight d1 uh, might still survive a little longer. Something like this. Okay, maybe takes and knight d2, but of course, uh, well, nothing up but bishop d4, and this is the dream of any Benoni player. Yeah. <laughs> no son of sorrow. No son of sorrow. Son of sorrow only for white here. So this is this would be very good for black, uh, but slightly better than what happened in the game for white, because he played bishop a2 in the game. All right, and let me see you now. What do you play with black? Those bishops, yes, those bishops on g4 and d4 were amazing. Uh -huh. What do we play with? Uh, we... Is it tactical? <laughs> yes, Sophie, it's tactical. Yes. <laughs> of course. Yes, Ruben, that's right. Should yes, Shagria, and... yes. The chat is... Uh, the spotting. chat is, is, uh, is sending help. It is, yes. Uh, but I think you, you're you already... Taking on E4. Yeah. Okay. Yes, of course. I was actually looking at taking on C3 first and then taking on E4. And I think maybe it's still a good position. But oh, yeah, you can just take on E4 first. But hold on, if you take on C3, don't I take with the queen? Yeah, but I'm ah, I knight don't h5. You want um, maybe knight h5, and it's but it's it's not it's probably not a good move at all. But it's I'm just probably I just unnecessary think complication. Have some play. Um, knight takes e4. Knight takes uh, e4. Queen, uh, rook takes e4. Yes. What happens if rook takes e4? Then we. What's the big point of this? Take back with the rook and then um, if knight take the queen is hanging and if queen takes then the bishop is hanging on b2 that's correct and then yeah. the knight on c3 is also hanging so if they take on h3 we take on c3 yeah game over and if yeah okay here bishop c4 queen b4 can be played so well very bad position for white anyway yeah uh, this was not the game. After knight e4, white played rook h3. And now simply knight takes on c3. Yeah. Takes. 
and knight takes. Yeah, we want to keep the queen on the b file, keep pressure on that bishop, uh, threaten to bring the queen on b1 or somewhere closer to the king, but also look, keep an eye on d5. So bishop takes and rook takes. Queen e4. Okay, and the final touch, what do you play here? F5? F5? F5 maybe? F5. Okay, you. There are many. Uh, F5 uh, maybe. Moves that are way. Maybe, maybe Queen E6. I yeah, was I going to play. To distract the queen from um from G4. Mm. Let's see. Yes, mm. Ruben, that's right. Robert, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> g4 g4 still okay let's see g4 queen takes and what do we play after queen g4 but g4 is very strong yes that's right what's the point what happens after queen g4 why are you giving up the pawn what is this i don't know christmas <laughs> is this christmas i'm very confused right now <laughs> um because the I don't see any checkmates in the No, it's not a checkmate yet, but G4 does have a good very good point to drive the queen away from E4. Check. Check on C1 can be played and what do you play after King G2? Queen a6, okay. yes, that's the point. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Very nice, silent right? Move. A silent move, but notice how all the pieces are hanging. Once the queen side was opened, that bishop was hanging all the time. Uh, once on c4, then on a2, the bishop on b2 also hanging. And now what we want is rook c1 yeah. and queen f1. You can probably play the other move order as well. Rook c1 and queen a6, I'm not sure if that's not the same. Probably looks similar. But here, uh, White resigned, finally, of course. <laughs> it's a very nice game, yeah, right? I, I, I love this game. Could we play? No, because we haven't really sacrificed. We haven't sacrificed anything. No, we have, but then we've taken I, everything I, I back. I think in this position you would have sacrificed something, but we haven't. But we have sacrificed, but then we've taken everything back. Yeah. We've only <laughs> sacrificed, the, <laughs> well, we've sacrificed a pawn on c4 and then a bishop on h3, but White yeah. didn't really want that bishop. Yeah, that's true. All right, and with this, we are done for today. Uh, Sophie, I hope yeah. you didn't have plans. Really great, <laughs> Too uh, many plans. Uh, uh, sorry? Really great Benoni game you showed me here. I'm this is like a very nice, role. yes. The, also a little bit hectic, of course. Yeah, of, uh, in the beginning, when you try to, when you start bringing your pieces, uh, that's part positional. And then when all the pieces are on the right side, then you just... Uh, start throwing the tactics at your opponent yeah okay so i think we are done for today thank you guys for watching and thank you sophie for your patience <laughs> thank you very much for your and thank you for investing all this in the benoni i'm really uh i'm telling I'm really you i will end up playing it huh? <laughs> yeah i think so, so <laughs> we'll be benoni I'm, I'm seeing all these uh, nice games and uh it's, it looks pretty yeah. tempting so guys show, so, so show some reverse Sicilian games, London. Uh, the thing is that here yeah. with Sophie, we are doing some um, lessons that are personalized for Sophie. Uh, she's my student on coaches and she was learning the Benoni. So if she might want to learn the reverse Sicilian <laughs> in the future, we were going to do that as well. But for now, we are going to <laughs> kind of stick with uh, what Sophie needs for now to improve as, as a player. But I'm waiting for you guys on coaches if uh, you are interested for private lessons. Oh, I can really recommend it. <laughs> okay, thank you all. So see you. Don't know when the next streaming will be, but hopefully next week. Let's see. It yeah. will be announced. Yeah. All right. Thank you guys. Bye.